Well, hello again. Um, today we're going to be looking at a latching push button switch. Uh, this one I picked up off of eBay, as where most people get their switches and that. This one came directly from China. Uh, saved quite a bit that way, of course. And it's the five pin model. So a latching switch is a push button switch that sticks when you push it in and holds there. And then when you push it again, it releases. So um, this one here has multiple ways you can wire it up so basically you can have it on when the switch is in the pushed in position you can have it off that way you can have it on when it's out and off when it's in you can have the leds work either way um, you can have the leds hook up to your accessory switch in your car so that it only comes on when the key's on um, you can have it run 24 7 you can have it on when it's in and off when it's out or you can have it on when it's out and off when it's in um, it's fairly versatile so it's good for a lot of different uses um, there are pigtails that come with these or not come with them but you can order them separately i didn't um, i didn't know about it honestly so i didn't do it but um, usually i just do it myself anyway the uh, pigtails are quite a bit more than the switch actually you can use these um, very small spade type connectors for them but when you put them on you need to be very careful because the pins here are really delicate like really delicate and if they snap with that whole portion there if they snap there it becomes a pain in the ass to solder them on because the entire um, connection is solder and not wrapped around inside the hole or whatever which i'll get to in a second so if you do plan on using these things take a swiss army knife or small screwdriver or something just pry it just a little bit so that when you push it on you're not bending the pin and then they'll work um, again i don't like them because there's too much exposed and whatnot and i just prefer to solder straight to it so um got some wires here and I'm going to color code these so that it makes it easier when I describe how to wire this up for different applications or different uh, ways it can be used. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So your first thing is you're going to take and you're going to find out which is a positive and which is a negative and if you follow the color coding on there, you'll be able to see it easily. Um, push the wire in right up until it gets to the insulating part maybe back it off just a smidge and then create the V there and once you create that V it's in a good position you make sure it's on the top of the post and give it a twist now that wire is kind of locked into position there so when I take my solder and you don't want to use it too long these they're fairly robust uh, thermally but I still don't like to hold the solder on there too too long at all so putting a little solder on it and you're done okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off the rest of these and uh, do it in quick motion so we're not wasting a whole bunch of your time so back in a sec Okay, welcome back. So now we're gonna do a demonstration on which wires you need to connect to make different stuff happen. This is our ground wire. So this is 12 volt negative from the battery and we'll connect that into that one right off the bat. 
The switch is lit on the inside by a small LED light and that is operated by the black wire and the red wire. That is, those two are strictly for the light on the inside. The ground of course is a common ground and shared with everything else in the vehicle and the system and we'll work with these ones but for the switch itself just these two are for the, switch, the light. The color coding on this is my own invention, so don't expect it to work with the pigtails that you buy online. There's no correlation between the two. Um, I just did this myself to make it easier to explain when hooking everything up. Now, for our purposes, this is the 12 volt positive, this is the 12 volt negative. As you can see, if we connect the 12 volt positive and the 12 volt negative to the power source, the LED on the switch comes on, it is on in either position. If you wanted to have it on 24-7, then you'd wire it directly to a battery or a constant power source. If you want to have it operated and toggled by the ignition, so it is only on when the other accessories in the vehicle are on, then you'll hook this into one of those accessory ignition wires. So, for first off, we'll do the switch in the pushed in on position. So we'll take the blue wire and connect the blue without shorting everything out here. Take the blue and connect it to our load. Then we will take the yellow and connect the yellow to the 12 volt source from the battery. And as you can see, the light is on. Press the button, the load comes on. The press it again, it goes off. Now, some people may not want to have this light on all the time. They might have a special need where they only want to see the LED on the switch when the load is actually on. So for that, you keep the yellow wire constant there, but you take the red wire to the LED and you put it in on the same connection as the load going or going to the load. So uh, you can see that the light is off. But as soon as you press it on and turns on the load, the LED inside the switch goes on. The next way to wire this up, we will take the green wire and hook that directly to the battery. We will then take the yellow wire and put the yellow wire to the load. And you can have, again, the LED on all the time or you can have it on when the switch is toggled. But as you can see, the switch is in the on push down position, the latched position. If you press the button, the load comes on and the switch is in the off position. You can alternatively take the LED from the light, connect it again, the same as before, into the load, so it is toggled by the switch itself. Hey, there is another one here that is also very handy. And not for everybody, but it, it does have its place, so we'll go into it here. So again, we're going to take the blue, go back to the original position, put the blue to the load, and again, I'm going to put the LED to that as well. Then I'm going to take the yellow and put that directly to the battery, and I'm going to introduce something different here. I'm going to take a, another 12 volt item, in this case a fan, and I'm going to hook that to the ground. So ground now I'm going to take the green wire that's sitting there doing nothing and I'm going to connect it onto the fist. Now, as you can see, the light is off, the fan is on. I push the button in, the light comes on, the load comes on and the fan goes off. So if you have a need where you want to be able to have one thing off and the other thing on, alternating with one switch, that's how you do it. So. We take the red again and put it on here so that it is on when both are on. And then again, connect the fan back up. And fan goes off, light comes on. Light goes off, fan comes on. It's fairly handy. So um, I hope that helped you out. If you like the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you have questions, comments, please leave them in the description below. And until next time, see you then.